Now, needless to say, members of the Jewish community here at home are stunned by today's attack. The assault has been at once sudden and brazen. Late today, I spoke with the Community Relations Director for the Jewish Federation of St. Joseph Valley. We got a call from my brother-in-law who lives in Israel at 6 in the morning, and he said that Israel is at war with Hamas. And, you know, we were clueless that there was anything, any tension on the border. And, in fact, it was a total surprise. Bob Pfefferman woke up Saturday morning to jolting news. Israel, where so much of his family lives, was under attack by Hamas. His son and grandchildren were huddled in a basement shelter. As the director of community relations for the Jewish Federation of St. Joseph Valley, Pfefferman watches Israel closely. His family's presence in Tel Aviv increases that vigilance. They've had eight sirens today, and each time there's a siren, they, you know, get up and go down the stairwell to stay away from windows. Pfefferman believes Iran is pulling the strings of this Hamas attack and is more than a little concerned about the firepower Hamas now possesses. So the rocket fire is a major concern. Uh, there have been more than 3,000 rockets fired today. And even though Israel has the famous Iron Dome rocket defense system, it's not perfect. Uh, there were two rockets that hit his city. So, you know, that's a concern. I'm very concerned about uh, the casualties, more than 250 killed. And that grim number continues to rise.